Hey everyone, thanks for coming back. Today we're doing the Count of Five by Montreal Assembly, Mode 2 only, so let's dive right in. So Mode 2 allows you to sample a clip of audio and play it back in slices, and it can record up to four seconds of audio. Now let's talk about the controls. The switches do everything they did in Mode 1. So if you want to review, uh, I did a whole video last week on Mode 1. Feel free to go to that, and that will explain what all three switches do. The DIR1 knob and the mix knob both do the same thing that they did in mode one. For the foot switches, the bypass switch is the same. The soft switch does have a different function in this mode. So as you hold it down, it's gonna record your sample. It'll record whatever you're playing into it. And if you record for more than four seconds, it's gonna wrap around and layer on top of the first four seconds because it has that limit. So. I'm gonna quickly record a short sample to show you how it works. So that's a really short sample. And then again, with the DIR1 knob, you can start turning that and manipulating it. Okay, you get the drift. Um, so here's a longer sample. This one's over four seconds long, so when it records, it's going to wrap around itself, okay? So you hear that? It's collided with itself. It, didn't have enough time to record the whole piece, so the last part of the piece recorded over the first. And then again, you can manipulate it with the DIR1 knob. So the third knob down is the Lens S knob. Now as you can see, there's three sets of labels next to that third knob. Well, obviously the top one is for mode one, middle one's mode two, bottom is mode three. Now, this sets the length of the resampled slices. So fully clockwise, the length is the same as the original sample. Okay, so you're hearing a sample that I played and that's the length of it. Let's hear what happens when we turn it counterclockwise. Okay, so that definitely makes it much shorter, and then if we turn it noon, the resampled slices are half the length of the original. So that's half of the original sample. And that's the full sample, up to four seconds. knob down, that is the random knob. That's what R-A-N-D means. And that affects how randomly the slices are selected. Okay, so the way it's set now, I have it turned off. There's no randomness at all. The sample is always played from the beginning. But if you start to turn that, it allows the start of the slices to be chosen from anywhere in the original recording. So I've made the slice a little smaller so you can hear it starting to chop it up and do random stuff. that sample is playing, you can hold down the soft switch and you can record a new one over it. Once you let go, the new one you recorded will start playing. Now, if you want to cancel the sample, just tap the soft switch again, real quick. 
Okay, let's talk transcendence. Now in mode two, there's an eight second buffer. If you record a sample, it's gonna to start to play back same way it would without transcendence. But when you record again, it's gonna write over the current playback buffer instead of a second unheard one. So you're able to start kind of looping things, right? So you can see it overwrites it, so it starts kind of chopping it up. All right, that's it. Mode two is done. Uh, if you want to find out about mode three, come back next week. I'm going to be covering that one as well. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much.